Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Faith the Trader Soul with Miles and Rant. We're going to be hopping down into level 21 of the dungeon in the outpost of Durantia. I went ahead and got the three quests that we're going to be dealing with today. We have Destroy 8 Mud Terrans on level 21. We've been seeing a lot of those um, in, the last, in this uh, outpost, like this dungeon specifically. There's a lot of um, Terrans. There's a lot of uh, like elemental creatures, mud, quicksand... Uh, they look really odd, and they're on some of the loading screen loading screens, but there's actually been like a surprising number of them in Druantia. Um, recently. <laughs> Within the last several episodes, there's been a ton of them. Uh, we'll do that. So there are eight of those that we need to, to beat, and then destroy four Mud Terrans on level 21. So, uh, we have 12, uh, Mud Terrans, and then destroy eight not alloyed Squires, uh, on level 21. not alloyed Squires are the melee versions of the uh, these the squid floor. guys that's on that loading screen right there. They're not terribly difficult to to deal with at all. I'm not expecting to see anything else from like item dropped items uh, from Swath for a while because we did that recently. So I'm I'm not necessarily expecting to find that anytime soon because we found that just last episode I believe level or uh, episode 20, or level 20 of this, like, yeah, episode 70. Root Terrence, so we saw that. You have triggered a trap. Book of Town Portals. Oh, Book of Town Portals. I thought that was just a scroll. I will actually take that. Those are the little beetle dudes that we need to pay attention. Man, there's so many queen, uh, bee queens down here. There's a Mud Terrence. That's a squire, not a little squire. Like their weird tentacle things sort of wrap around whatever weapons they're using. That kind of looks cool. There's another mud tarrant. Elven amulet, don't want it. Are any of these fetch quests? Reward is... Reward. Reward. So it doesn't look like we need to pick up any of the items if anything falls off of them. There's no quest items on any of the mud tarrants. Which is good, because sometimes I will forget to do that, and that will cause trouble. So, if we can avoid those quests, that's better for me and my sanity. I mean, it would figure this is, after all, like a honeycomb level, that the the bugs would be down here. Wait a second. That must be on the other side of the wall. I saw that red circle. There's the frog dudes. 51 gold. Let's keep up this way. We've got timber wolf. And some crate. And some gold back here. There's another mud tarrant. There's got to be a lot of these things on this level. Paraderma. I think these are one of my favorite looking enemies. I think they look pretty cool. Mud tarrant. Okay, so we just completed the one to defeat four. So now we just got <laughs> eight more to deal with. All right, let's go back through here. Clear this area out. Let's get those guys back to Corbin. Don't need that. Stamina potion. We don't really need that. You have sprung the trap. I've mentioned it before. I know I don't have to break up all the crates and stuff. But I, I like to. Just just sort of it helps me as like a player keep track of where I've been. I mean the map does that to some extent, but sometimes you crisscross back over areas that you've already been and seeing stuff already uh taken care of sort of helps me figure out what I need to do and what I don't need to bother with. Uh, what's back down here? We got a wearable. Was that guy casting something? In the, was he in the middle of casting something? Uh, Naga, Nautiloid Squire. Overall, the Nautiloid Squires I think look pretty cool as far as enemies are concerned. These are the lightning guys. I'm just going to do that. Stop them from Doing their crazy area of effect spells. Um, let's finish looking all the way down here. We still have more mud terrans to take care of. Do do do. There's a badger dude, a snail. A trap has been sprung. Silver pendant, divine light spell. Quicksand terrant. We'll just spin kick that. There's a queen. Not a light apprentice. Take care of him. So many queens everywhere. 
This area must be contested even among like the the bees. <laughs> must be a, a bug war going on down here. All right, cool. Let's get rid of the slugs. Roach spawn, which again we have to pay attention because the reason why Miles is visiting this town is because he's helping out that uh, t that Tarrant or Ent guy uh, named Twigger, who asked him to take care of a Roach King on level 43. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we see more of those little bug dudes, those little uh, Roach guys, because I think the bigger and more tough those get, the closer we're going to be getting to the Roach King. Now, I don't know that for sure. That would just make sense to me. That that's why those enemies are showing up. And I mean, they're really not threatening at all. Oh, not allowed to invoker. Let's get rid of that. Don't want even better versions of those guys, those magic users. That's no good. Uh, let's finish off the southern part this edge did we already complete all of the okay i i think what happened was is that those two quests sort of fed into each other maybe and so there might be a ton of mud terrans down here because it was supposed to be 12 originally but since it just the quest just tracks how many you've defeated uh the one that's counting the eight might have been counting the four which would explain why there's probably going to be more mud terrans to take care of there's just swarms of bees everywhere. Again, aesthetically, makes total sense. I think this is the most bees I've ever seen on any level. Barry B. Benson would be proud. All right, what do we got? All right, let's finish filling out the map here so we can get a better picture of what's going on. This level definitely sprawled way out, and I don't want to get lost in what I'm doing here. Take care of that. There's a root tarrant. There's another one of those. It's just like nature is just rebelling. And there's some evil magic behind it. So I'm wondering, like between the nautiloids and the roach king, there's some definite evil magic going on with the, like the plants and the bugs and just nature in general on this this area near Dr Druantia. That seems to be a common theme. Is it's like normal natural stuff, but just evil warped versions of it. That thing just summons stuff, and I don't like that. Alright, let's go ahead and make our way back to our to this staircase. What's thrown fire? Not a Lloyd Invoker. Let's make our way back to the staircase, throw a portal down, and call this episode quits. Because I think that's everything we needed to do on this level of the dungeon. Wait a second. Yep, those slugs are definitely spawning stuff in, which I don't like. Well, that'll be interesting. That'll be uh, something else to worry about. I'm so frustrated that all Swad's stuff is taking up space. Um, let's put this Book of Town portals. That has ten uses. A couple of these health potions in uh, Rant's inventory. Granted, I suppose the average player isn't supposed to have like all this stuff in their inventory, all these healing charms. But again, Miles was facing opponents who were much, much stronger than maybe he should have been at the time. All right, let's collect our rewards for this quest likely sell all of it <laughs> and finish up this episode we got a song blade let's just sell that now because we know we're not going to be using that and then we got two people over here oh we leveled up and we got some sort of a steam achievement uh what things do we get crushing elfame mace of deflection 23 damage to undead Attack damage 52 to 105. 12% damage taken reduced. So, under normal circumstances, that would be a pretty dope uh, item right there. I am curious about this. Ice Hammer's Accurate Emerald Ring of Dodging. 
13% attack speed bonus, plus 8 hammer skill, uh, 20 super 10. 22% damage dealt bonus, plus 14 attack bonus, 22% defense, 23% dexterity, 4% reduced item requirements. That's good. Plus 8 club and mace. <sighs> Ooh, what do we got in rings? Damage dealt, defense bonus. What about this? Hammer skills, stamina, spear, damage dealt, attack bonus. How do these stack up, I wonder? They might be close. Hammer skill, this also has hammer skill, but it has 8. This has 14 stamina. This does not have stamina, but that hasn't been a problem for us, though. Spear skill, we don't use. This has club and mace skill, which we do use. 15% damage dealt bonus. This has 22% damage dealt bonus. See, this is what I. This is the kind of stuff I have to do, like on the fly. Uh, this has plus 7 attack bonus. Uh, this has plus 14 attack bonus. This has 9% damage taken reduced. This has other, a lot of other stuff. We're, we are going to swap that out, and we're going to sell that. Because overall, that is a better keep. This... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, that also has reduced item requirements. So between this and this, it's like 7% uh, item requirement percentage taken down, which is really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these because that's just a better upgrade all around. I have no problem with that. That has a better armor, but we have two sockets in that one. And the extra enchantments. Should we go and see the enchanter guy again? Because we have sockets in these things, but it was so expensive last time to do anything that I'm kind of wary about that. I definitely don't want to get rid of these because of the 47% strength bonus. That's really nice. Like, really nice. I guess if there was one thing I'd get rid of to beef up Miles' uh, defense, it would be the belt for something better. But, I mean, 57 versus 65, and we can add something to this one, I might just hang on to this. I think I might just pause on that for now. But we are going to level up, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. 130 strength. That's crazy. He does a lot of damage, so I'm, I think I'm going to back off on that for now. Um, I think I'm going to do what I did before, which is three points in magic and two in vitality. Because I think overall our defense is good enough where both our defense is good enough and also the fact that he does so much damage that the enemies aren't dealing damage two miles for very long before they're just dead. Um, so I'm not as worried about the vitality yet. Yet. Um, but magic, I think, is going to be very important. Uh, between his summons and then his attack spells, especially with, like, the, uh, the frailty spell, I think keepling, keepling, <laughs> keeping his magic ability beefed up is going to be very important. I think, yeah, melee and magic, I think that's what uh, Miles is all about. So we have two points right here. And club and mace is up to 34 now because of the ring that we just got. So I gotta decide what I'm gonna do here. I've kind of frozen polearm because so far every time I try and switch over to that, it kicks his armor off. But I think, is it actually letting me keep it on for once? It is. It is actually. That does 101. This does 140. Also, but it has plus 18 damage. Does, that still doesn't do as much as that. This also has reduced item requirements. This one's kind of just for flavor, I guess. The Talon Scythe. I we really didn't get to use it all that much. I wish it added in... Wait, plus 18 damage dealt and plus 14 ice damage. Does that all calculate up? I don't know. Regardless, I'll just keep it in there for now. I think we could probably try and enchant the helmet... Since we got rid of our other helmet, which wasn't nearly as good, I think we should do that and just see what we get for it. If it's a waste of money, it's not the end of the world. We're going to get more money once the quests get more difficult anyways. I think what I'm going to do is kick... 
charm magic up, which is summoning stuff. And defense, which I think beefs up his healing ability. Because in these, I think this is charm, this is defense, this is attack. So I think that's what that does. And his attack magic is pretty good. So I'm not as concerned about that. Now, is there anything else we need to do? Let's heal up, because Rant is not at full health. We'll do that. And then, let's go over, visit the bullfrog guy, and just see. Actually, maybe I should check the shop one last time. For helmets. To see if I can find one with a better base level. With a better base number. So that's 123. 44. Ooh. 17, 63. Yeah, 123 is pretty nice. So I guess we'll just go over and do this now. Might do nothing. Depends on how much he's asking. I don't know if it it probably stacks on how many times he does it for you. So this could get expensive. Okay, that's not bad. Nothing happens. Oh, marvelous. I think it's, I think it's every time you do it to the same item, the price increases. 1% reduced item requirements. Okay, that's okay, but can we get something even better, maybe? I'd love it if we could get something really nice. Extra enchantment, sweet. Wait, no. I don't know why that happened. 12% uh, damage dealt penalty. That's new. Wait a second, I can put this stuff on? Hold on. Did that just ruin that item? That did just ruin that item. Well, he cursed it. That's never happened before. Ooh, that could be bad. Well, I guess that's why you don't gamble, folks. Ugh, that's bad. I guess we should sell that then, because... Yeah, that's no good anymore yikes what is all this like it, I didn't know I could put this stuff on what is it what benefit does it give me to do that I'm confused why would I ever want to do that because it won't let me sell the items so like yeah that's all basic garbage and because I don't have certain things I can't where other things see that's what I was mainly worried about is messing around with all that stuff because it's a delicate game defense 95 that might be the best thing we can get for now even though it looks like trash Ugh, I hate how that looks on him but oh well I guess that's what we got to go with for now until we can find some sort of a replacement we're gonna have to go with that which stinks but I, I didn't think that it was possible for him to do that. Uh, don't gamble, kids. Uh, yikes, we're going to have to get a better helmet. I'll have to put that back on my, my list of things to do. All right, uh, I need to end the episode there. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. I hope you're enjoying the entire series. Uh, hopefully you continue to watch. I'm going to keep recording these episodes uh, as often as I can. Uh, in light of uh, the coronavirus and everything, I have more time to work on these and edit so i'm gonna try and record maybe a couple of these episodes a day and sort of get ahead of the curve a little bit with my upload schedule so uh thank you guys so much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you guys in the next episode bye